Good afternoon. We are getting a first look at what led a state police officer to open fire on a wanted suspect at a New Mexico gas station. That suspect was not about to surrender, hitting his partner with his truck as he took off. News 13's Madison Connor has the video and why the suspect says he ran. A state police chase through the hills near Las Vegas after an officer shot at a man with warrants. It started on a Friday afternoon in March. New Mexico State Police pull into a Speedway gas station in Romeroville, south of Las Vegas. That's where 40-year-old Pedro Griego and his partner were getting gas. Police recognized Griego, who had warrants for aggravated battery and fleeing. Now, video shows when Griego noticed officers surrounding him, he got in his car and took off hitting his partner into a gas pump on the way out. If I have an ambulance coming to check you out. No, okay. oh. he As Griego took off from the gas station, that's when state police officer Peter Delgado fired one shot. Later, he told investigators he shot at Griego, thinking the suspect was willing to do anything to get away. At this moment, I knew Mr. Griego was going to put many more countless lives at danger, either on US 84, Interstate 25, or on the front of the troop. So as Mr. Griego was uh, accelerating past me, I fired one round. Griego took off down U.S. Highway 84 before taking a turn onto a private road. After being hit, Griego continued on that dirt road. Officers lost sight of him a few minutes later. Ten days later, Griego turned himself in and was arrested. In an interview, he explained why he ran. I feared for my life. That's the only reason I took off. Griego, who hid out for nearly two weeks, wouldn't tell police where he was, but he says his family encouraged him to surrender. I can't be doing this. I can't do it. I don't want to kill my wife. I don't want to kill my kids. I don't want to get killed myself. Madison Connor, KRQE, News 13. Griego is facing charges of aggravated, aggravated fleeing and reckless driving. His trial is currently set for November.